Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to install the current MySQL version on Windows 10. We will install the MySQL server shell as well as workbench. With that, we will also create a sample database. Let's start. Go to the web browser. On Google type MySQL and uh, press enter. Now the official website is visible. Click on it. MySQL.com Now here is the official website. Click on the downloads menu. Go below. Here in MySQL community downloads link is visible. Click on it. Now click on MySQL installer for Windows. The current version is visible which is MySQL 8.0.39. It is for Windows. Here in you can see two versions are visible. You need to click on the second one because the first one is just an installer. It's written here. So click on the following download. It's written x86 32 bit, but uh, this works for both 32 bit as well as 64 bit Windows operating system. Click download. Now click no thanks. Just start my download. Now the download will start. Here it is. Let's wait. Guys, we have downloaded the setup. Right click, click open, minimize. The setup started. Click on custom so that we can understand what we are installing. Click next. We need to select the products we need to install. Click MySQL servers drop down. Then the following like this and here it is for 64 bit I told you. Click here to drag. Now these are the products we will be installing. Applications workbench 8.0 and they have the current one as 8.0.38 no problem they will update later. You can install it right now and the same for shell drag it. So these three will be installing. Click next. Ready to install. Click execute. Guys, we have completed the installation. Here you can see complete. Click next. Product configuration. Click next. Type in networking. The port number is 3306. Keep it as it is. Click next. Authentication method. Use strong password. Keep it a default because it is recommended. And click next. Now enter the root password. So root is the admin. Okay. Enter any password. So this is my password. You can also use my password because we are installing only on localhost. Only on the local system. Okay. Click next. Keep windows service as it is. Click next. Server file permissions. Yes, grant full access. Click next. Apply configuration. Click execute. Now one by one it will execute. It is complete. Now you can check configuration. Click finish. Click next. Now when I'll click finish, it will start the workbench and shell. Okay, click finish. Here is the shell. 
and here is the workbench. Now moving further, we need to set the path also. Go to your path C drive. It was in program files. Here and you need to search for MySQL. Here it is. Double click. Double click. Server and bin. Copy this path. Minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Remember you need to click on edit the system environment variables, not the other one. You need to click on edit the system environment variables. Click open. Under advanced, click environment variables. Now under system variables, go to path. Double click. Now click new. Right click and paste the same path. Okay. Now click OK. OK and the last OK to save it. Now we have installed it. Let us verify. Go to start. Type CMD. Click open to open the command prompt. Now let us type the command mysql space hyphen hyphen version. Press enter. Now the current version is visible. That means we successfully installed it. But guys, now we need to also start it. For that, type the command mysql space hyphen u. Here u is for user. I hope you can recall that uh, user was root and space hyphen p. p is for password. Press enter and now enter the same password. Press enter again. Now you can see we successfully started the server. Now type the command show databases to display the default databases. Okay. Semicolon. Press enter. Now these are the default databases provided by MySQL. When you will install MySQL for the first time, you will be displayed these. Let us create a new database. Create database. Database name. So let's say I'll name Amit DB. So this is the syntax. Create space database space the database name. You can add any name. I have added Amit DB. Now on pressing enter, it's written query. Okay, one row affected. That means we successfully created it. You can also verify now using the same command show databases. Now five databases will be visible. Here and you can see on the top, we just uh, created AmitDB database and it's visible here. Now if you want to learn how to create a table in it and perform other MySQL operations, you can refer our free MySQL tutorial. The link is in the video description. Now let us also open workbench. Here it was. Click here. Enter the same password. Select this and click OK. Now you will enter MySQL workbench. OK, so this is the UI to create databases and tables and perform operations. For a free MySQL workbench tutorial also, you can refer the link in the description of this video. OK, both the links are visible for MySQL as well as MySQL workbench tutorial. Thank you for watching the video.